Did you know painkillers can cause peptic ulcer disease leading to complications like bleeding and intestinal perforation which can be of life risk Hi my name is Dr Mayank Gupta and I am senior consultant in department of gastroenterology Max Hospital Dehradun and today we'll be taking some commonly asked questions on peptic ulcer disease Hi doctor I'm Mahesh from Jaipur What is peptic ulcers and how do they develop So this is a very commonly asked question in my clinical practice and what happens is like peptic ulcer disease is a disease it comes from two words one is ulcer and one is peptic peptic means acid so whenever there is a more production of acid it leads to the ulcer in the stomach food pipe that is esophagus and intestine so first part of intestine that is duodenum this is known as peptic ulcer disease it is mainly of two types one is ulcer in the stomach which is known as gastric ulcer and one is ulcer in the first part of intestine that is known as duodenal ulcer now why it happens is it happens because of multiple reasons uh, like we take painkillers we there is an infection like h pylori bacteria which causes the disruption of the mucosal lining of uh, stomach and duodenum leading to peptic ulcer hi doctor what are the symptoms of peptic ulcers and what happens if it is left untreated so i'll divide the symptoms in uh, two phases like one is uncomplicated peptic ulcer disease and one is complicated peptic ulcer now what happens is in uncomplicated peptic ulcer the symptoms are like pain in the upper part of abdomen now the two ulcers one is gastric and one is duodenal both have relationship with food now what happens in pain with gastric ulcer the pain usually increases after taking food and in duodenal ulcer the pain improves with food it is more in the fasting condition the other common symptoms are nausea early satiety bloating so these are the common symptoms which is in uncomplicated peptic ulcer disease now i'll talk about the complicated peptic ulcer disease in complicated peptic ulcer disease there are three major complications first is bleeding second is perforation that is the intestine the first part of intestine or the stomach gets perforated and third is recurrent vomiting because of the obstruction caused by the symptom in the intestinal tract now bleeding uh, can present as the blood in the vomiting which can be of red color or black or brown colored vomiting and the blood which passes in the stools which the same the color can be either red or either black for perforation the pain will be very severe and patient will come in the emergency department saying that i am having very severe pain abdomen kindly look after it and in case of obstruction the symptom will be recurrent persistent vomiting doctor what are the causes of peptic ulcer uh, so the common causes include uh, painkillers uh those are known as nsaids that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs uh usually patient is having back ache low back ache upper back ache knee pain so they commonly take painkillers for it and which can lead to complications of peptic ulcer disease second common cause is h pylori infection which is usually uh it's a very common bacteria and it is commonly acquired after taking unhygienic food and uh, water and this bacteria has the property to disrupt the intestinal lining and uh, leading to gastric or duodenal ulcer the other common causes are also there like uh, uh, crohn's disease tuberculosis but these are rare phenomena so i would like to stress upon uh, avoiding food like spicy food and alcohol smoking and tobacco in patients who are having peptic ulcer disease hi doctor what is the diagnostic and treatment of peptic ulcer for diagnosis so whenever a patient comes with symptoms mentioned earlier we ask a patient to get an endoscopy done endoscopy is a opd procedure which can be done without anesthesia and with mild anesthesia in this we pass an endoscope that is a tube with a camera and evaluate the food pipe stomach and the first part of intestine in this we directly visualize the presence of ulcer Apart from this we also take one biopsy from the mucosa of the stomach to identify rapid urease test this test is for presence or absence of h pylori bacteria this is how we make a diagnosis of peptic ulcer disease now we'll come to the treatment part 
treatment includes the acid reducing drugs which are, comes by name of proton pump inhibitors that is PPI. We give, usually give it for four to six weeks and in case if RUT that is rapid urease test is positive for H. pylori bacteria in this case we give 14 days of antibiotic course which usually resolves the H. pylori bacteria. In case of complicated peptic ulcer disease like bleeding, we do the endoscopic procedures. In this, we stop the bleeding in, by multiple maneuvers that includes ADR injections, that includes hemoclipping and multiple other clips which are available. If there is perforation, it immediately calls for a surgical exploration and in case of obstruction due to peptic ulcer, it again calls for a surgical exploration. So as we have answered, commonly asked questions related to peptic ulcer disease, my suggestion will be that we should not neglect the common abdominal symptoms like nausea, pain abdomen, early satiety, bloating and we should report to the doctor immediately so that if needed endoscopy can be done and we can avoid the complications like perforation and bleeding and which can be of life risk. Apart from that, if you are diagnosed with peptic ulcer disease, please avoid smoking, alcohol and tobacco. Thank you very much.